what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here we're going to talk about why you cannot kill the character of sydney prescott just yet and also if roger l jackson will be will be returning to reprise the role and give his vocal assistance in the role as ghostface uh getting into things with sydney i know i've made several videos in the past where i've said that seeing sydney die wouldn't be something i have a problem with but the series in itself as of right now with the bulk of characters that it has left in like left to carry the franchise going forward without sydney that's the biggest reason why you cannot kill her or they this series cannot afford to kill her off right now there's like a lot of people who would like to see a screen movie led by somebody else and that still could very well happen after screen five we could have it could it could happen with screen five we don't know if nev campbell's going to be leading the pack it could be another young another young actress again it could be hayden pantier coming back to reprise her role as kirby it could be somebody else uh taking up that role in the final girl role our main lead character role for sydney prescott who's being haunted by ghostface they're not going to play sydney but they're going to be in that sydney role and sydney's going to be there as like a mentor type of deal that could be that could start as early as screen five but just to kill her off i think that the series cannot afford that because a lot of people are still going to want to go to this go to go see these films for sydney prescott the issue that goes back to the other things i've talked about in my previous videos the screen franchise has a horrible history when it comes to people to fall back on so like case in point a lot of people's biggest issue with Scream 3 was the fact that Sidney Prescott was barely featured in it. We know that had a lot to do with Neff Campbell's schedule and a lot of other things she had going on at the time around when Scream 3, Scream 3 was coming out back in 2000. So we were left with a movie where we had David Arquette and Courtney Cox playing Dewey and Gale, which are two characters that we know and love and have grown accustomed to. But without that aspect of randy i think that was that's what also hindered it because for a bit in scream 2 we do have flashes of us following randy gail dewey uh, and they're trying to find out who the killer is on campus and then of course we know that ended up and randy unfortunately being killed off again i, ma I made statements about this if you would have saved randy's death for scream scream 3 i feel like a lot um, maybe not as many people would have had an issue with nev campbell being absent because while nev campbell's appearances in scream 3 were in short supply uh we still had randy who could have been again he's the mouthpiece of the people watching these films so i feel like that would have made up for it but we didn't have that we were left with gail and dewey bickering back and forth at each other about how things didn't work out after dewey got injured in at the end of scream 2 and how they tried to work things out how gail got a gig that she had to leave dewey in the hospital he's bitter over that and she's upset at him for uh being in hollywood working on the production of stab three and we have like just a trio of cast members not a trio of cast members but we have our supporting cast who make up the cast of stab three in in the movie that we don't really get that much time to spend spend with to get to know them i feel like the only character audiences identify with and still talk about of course is the character of roman since he was the killer and the character of angelina angelina jolie who was who was starred who was played by parker posey she was playing the role of gail weathers in the production of stab three she was the most fleshed out one in the supporting cast outside of sydney dewey gail uh we also had detective kincaid but again we didn't have too many people to get behind and that's why killing off sydney prescott the series has not put itself in a good position to kill off sydney prescott because if you kill sydney off are you going to go right back to what you did with scream 3 we're going to have a movie where it's basically primarily led by gail dewey and some other new cast members that we meet i don't know in scream 6 if they decide to do that or some girl that we just meet in scream 5 who is going to bleed into scream 6 as our new final girl if sydney dies in scream 6 if sydney dies in scream 5 there's just the fact that they have not built up the return so like how i how i look at it is in in the movie i know what you did last summer we have a group of characters and i know what you did last and i still know what you did last summer we have a group of characters 
What I wish the Scream series would have done over the course of these four movies is build up this group. Build up this group who is always in the mix of things. We just have Gail, Sydney, and Dewey, three main characters who we all know and love, but the supporting cast is always so underdeveloped, in my opinion, outside of a few standouts, like I made mention of. We know we have Hallie from Scream 2. We have Randy, who got killed in Scream 2. Uh, we have the character of Kirby, who we still do not know if she's going to be in Scream 5 or not. We don't even know if Nev Camp is going to be back just yet. But there's not too many supporting cast members who are joining our, our three main characters. They're just either here to catch our hearts for the sake of this sequel and then they're dismissed for the rest of the franchise which in my opinion is probably something that's gonna that's what's hurting the franchise and that's why so many people have an issue with Sidney Prescott dying not not only because they can't see it happening it has more so to do with the fact that in the in the back of your head you have to subconsciously be aware of the fact that you know they have no one else to fall back on. If you kill off Sydney, they have no one else to fall back on because they haven't they haven't built up anyone. The only character who most audiences would want to see the series fall back on, uh, for the most part, not all of us, is Kirby Reed. We don't have anyone else to take up that mantle and give us a mixture of Sydney mixed with Randy, uh, someone who can bond with Sydney or not Sydney, but bond with Gail and Dewey after Sydney's gone. We don't have a character like that. Uh, Gail and Dewey, they already tried their luck when it came to leading a Scream movie with Scream 3. That didn't really go too well because they were intertwined with a lot of bickering and focusing on uh, a lot of things that had to do with the supporting cast when those characters themselves weren't really fleshed out because every other scene, another one of them, another one of them was dying. Uh, we, we just don't have a group of we needed a group of characters i feel like at this point we need a group of characters somebody who can be there to give fans more confidence in killing off a character like sydney prescott the root of the reason why no one is willing to accept sydney dying is because no one no one everyone is pretty much aware of the fact that when you kill off sydney who are you now going to base your stories off of what are we going to do going for? of course we can meet her in screen five and she could lead us into scream six screen seven all of that jazz but the simple fact of the matter is my whole point here is we should have been building up other characters to join these three since scream two because they did it they had randy return to scream two but they i feel like honestly the supporting cast is always so big but then they always manage to somehow kill every single one of them off or they just they just vanish into obscurity because then we never see them again. Uh, they don't return for other sequels. I know Detective Kincaid, Patrick Dempsey was supposed to be back for Scream 4, but he had scheduling issues. He couldn't do it because he was working on Transformers Dark of the Moon at the time. There's just got to be something that can be done to make audiences and fans of this franchise more confident in killing off Sydney because the root of it comes down to when you kill her off there is nobody that has been established as someone who can carry on without receiving any form of backlash uh like for instance in Halloween Resurrection uh, not even Halloween Resurrection let's go back to Halloween 4 we don't have Jamie Lee Curtis but we do have Danielle Harris in the role of Jamie Lloyd she's the daughter of Dan she's the daughter of uh Lori Strode so she already has a connection to a character audiences are co of course going to miss since she's not in screen four but at the same time Daniel Harris was such an amazing child star that she is now almost as the character Jamie Lloyd is almost as synonymous synonymous with the Halloween franchise as her mother's role in in this in the franchise um by mother i'm talking about the role jamie lee curtis plays she's not her actual mother <laughs> so a lot of people identify that when they talk about halloween we always identify with jamie lloyd and Lori schroeder as two of our standout final girls we could have something like that with scream but unfortunately we don't because no real other character has been built up to a degree where they could pick up the mantle and be our new focus because the character of jamie lloyd was the focus for halloween 4 halloween 5 she had a brief cameo for halloween 6 because she did die at the beginning of that movie but like you get what i'm saying like there's no 
they need to find a character that audiences could become in, become invested in, fall in love with. The only one that really comes to mind right now is Kirby Reed. If you can think of someone else who is a worthy candidate to pick up from the mantle of Nev Campbell and be that new Sydney, I'll I'll challenge you to name somebody down in the comment section below because I can't think of a single person outside of Kirby at the moment. Uh, someone who the audience is already behind, somebody who the audience is in clear favor of if they were to come back. But getting on to Roger L. Jackson, people are claiming he's officially on board to come back. This is all over Twitter. Some fan accounts for the Scream series are talking about it. Nothing has come out of this man's mouth about it, but I feel like that's a given because of the fact that he did the MTV season three. He did VH1 season three of the TV series. So if you're doing that, why not come back and do Scream 5? I feel like if we don't have that, it'll be very interesting to see who they have filling those shoes. I feel like without Roger L. Jackson. on our post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts so you can mess in the i'll have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram